Come closer, a little bit closer. No, no, a little bit closer. Don't be shy, come closer. Little bit more, little bit more. Uh oh, looks like somebody needs some reading glasses. Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about getting a lens order with a distance power and an ad and converting that to a single vision reader. And that's all we're gonna do. Let's talk about something that you are going to do very, very often as a working optician. You get a lens order with a distance prescription and an ad, but you need to make a pair of single vision readers. The formula, if you will, for that is adding your sphere power to your ad power. In the big world of optical formulas, let's say adding your sphere power to your ad power is really not all that hard to do. However, especially for you folks that are new, use a calculator. The one with little plus minus sign. You can pick these up for a dollar at the dollar store. Uh, you'll find them on your smartphone as well. You know, they're everywhere. A 160 with AR, $50 wholesale, $150 retail. Not to mention the loss of confidence in your customer. If you fail to use a calculator, add these two together wrong and make them a pair of readers that don't work. Use a calculator, okay? Distance to single vision readers. We're gonna run through a bunch of examples. Really pretty easy. And you know that is not something that I say very often. Distance to single vision or a bifocal intermediate. Those can be pretty tricky. That's why we're gonna save that for the next video. Remember that a reader can be anything. Yes, the total powers, sphere powers, cylinder powers, they could be plus, they can be minus, heck, it could even be Plano. Let's run through some examples of conversion. Example number one, extremely common lens powers, extremely common ad power. What did our formula say? Our formula says that we need to add our sphere power to our add power. That means we're gonna end up with minus 125 added to 150. What did I tell you to do? We're going to use our calculator. We've got 1.25 minus added to 1.50 gives me a positive 0 0.25. Now we need to write this as a single vision reader, and this would become plus 25 minus 1 at axis 83. Example number two, extraordinarily common numbers extraordinarily common ad power for someone just getting started with needing a reading correction. What did our formula tell us? Our formula told us that we need to add our sphere power and our ad power. So we've got a minus one, which we need to add to a plus 175. What am I going to do? I am going to break out my calculator. I'm going to put in one, hit the minus sign, add 1.75, and I end up with plus 0 0.75. To make a single vision reader from this, I'm going to end up with a plus 0.75 minus 75 at 90 degrees. Like I said, don't overthink this one too much. The next examples will be a little bit different, but it's all you gotta do. Example number three, the last two examples we were using minus, this time we have a plus two. Let's see if that changes anything. Absolutely not. We need to add our sphere power to our add power. So we are going to add a plus two 
and a plus one fifty for a total of plus three fifty. Our final single vision reading script from this would be a plus three fifty minus one fifty at one thirty. Keeping in mind, of course, as we know, this is never going to change. This is never going to change. Only our sphere power will change by adding our add power to it. Example number four, super duper realistic. This would be somebody that probably would wear contact lenses most of the time. They just finished seeing the doc. They come out here with their lens order form and say, no, I wear contacts all the time, but you know what? I love to wear my readers when I'm in bed. Well, let's figure out what you would make for this person. We are going to add our sphere power and our add power, which means we're gonna have a minus 450 added to a plus. 150. I am going to use my calculator minus plus 150. It tells me that I end up at minus three. Yes, minus three. An ad for a reader for single vision for high minus people does not have to be a plus. Remember that minus three is more plus than minus 450. Final thing that you would make for this person would be a minus three, minus 125 at 85 degrees. Example number five tells us that we are going to add our sphere power to our add power. If I have a minus 150 and I add a plus 150, I end up at Plano. Yes, that is correct. That is okay. This person will be wearing a single vision reader of Plano minus 50 at 98 degrees. And they would be happy as they could be. Example number six, we'll run one all the way through. Let's say someone came in with the following prescription, a right of minus 350, minus 75 at 140, and an add of 150. In the left eye, minus 275, minus 75 at 140, with an add of 150. They said they would like to have a nice pair of single vision reading glasses made. You're going to do a beautiful 160 with a high-end AR and a very fashionable frame. Make yourself all kinds of money and make a very, very happy customer. And you are going to take your minus 350 and you're going to add your 150. And you're going to take your minus 275 and add 150. That gives us... Gives you a minus two and a minus 125. What you would call in, what you would key in in order to make this job minus two, minus 75 at 140, minus 125 minus 75 at 140. There is your single vision reading power for that person. Don't overthink it. Use your calculator. I've got, I think, 15 examples of working through this kind of stuff on the Optician Works website in the eye and lens design course. I will see you again next week when we tackle intermediate.